Alrighty, finally got my hands on the package today. A little bit earlier than I expected, but this actually starts off the weekend pretty well because people can enjoy this on the Friday I release it. This package contains the new released Box Muted Jades, which sounds a bit weird because people are probably expecting, say, a click bar with like some sort of dampening on the stem or whatever. But I'm here to find out because I have actually haven't opened the package yet. So without any further delays, let's get that open. All right. Make sure not to cut toward yourself, by the way. I literally bled my thumb dry today because I stabbed myself trying to cut a zip tie. So don't do that. But remember, cut away from yourself and you should be okay. At least I hope. Anyway, safety, always, of course. Put that back how you found it. You should be able to get this open. There we go. Inside contains my shipping address, which I hope I don't leak. We've got the Kale Box Mute Jades and no cap. We got keycaps. I don't see any in there, but I think I just got clickbaited. Anyway, alright. So. The Box Mute Jade. Let's get into it. Nice packaging as always. Ah, so we have... You know what these remind me of? These remind me of the uh, ancient gray switches, or at least part of the, you know, sort of weird uh, lineup with the China switches, I think. Like the, like the uh, noble yellows or the glazed green or whatever. Anyway, I have not touched these switches yet, and your my first impression is going to be literally right here on camera. All right, let's see here. It's got five pins, an improvement, I'd say. So yeah, all right, here it goes. What? Where's the click? Is there a click? There is a click in there. Oh shit! Look at that, there is a click bar in there. But this doesn't feel like a jade at all. It feels, it literally feels like when a box brown turns clicky. To anyone that has owned box switches like a while ago, you know that the tactiles became clicky after a while, and this is kind of how it feels. I mean, it's quiet. It's much quieter than, say, uh, like an actual jade, but... But... What? Okay. You know what? Let me, let me take this apart. There has to be some sort of explanation as to what's going on here. This is not what I expected, because when I hear Jade in the title, I'm expecting Jade levels of tactility, but I'd gotten none of that. It genuinely feels like when a box royal or a box brown became clicky. Okay, I am back after about 15 minutes of testing, and I find it very odd. Because according to, if you look at the top right corner right now, update with Mike, summer 2021, um, he says, when t sampling these, he said there's a silicon dampener inside the switch that prevents the switch from like making too much noise, but also still retaining the tactility that is similar to a jade. Albeit, I can't say it's really that similar. It is still tactile, which I will, I will give him that. However, I can't seem to find any dampening inside the switch. I even took it apart, as you can see here, I actually took it apart completely and I couldn't find any like silicon anything. When I look back in here, it appears that the click bar is now bent. So is it the top housing that's offering something? Let me take a look. So is it a top housing that is, <gasps> it is, look at that. It's literally this little pad right here. If you see, if you see that right there, right there, that is exact. That's what's causing it to be dampened, because that's when the click bar rests at its end, at least. So, 
it's literally all in the top housing. If I were to have taken a box uh, jade or something like that and put it and just took the stem in it, it would probably act the same. But because of the fact that it is pushing down on the click bar on the back, that is what's causing it to be muted. Now I must say again, this doesn't feel like a box jade. Okay, it's it's like when he it's like when Mike proposed the box royals kind of feel like box jades, but you really can't beat a click bar. But somehow I managed, but somehow he managed to make it so that these feel like Hako royals. If anyone has actually tried those, I, I know some people have, but I I don't hear anyone talking about them nowadays. They're basically what used to be a variant branch of box royals where they made it so like they made a holy uh box version of it and it's similar to this feeling but if anyone wanted the click bar in there i guess that's kind of how it goes so if i look at it from the bottom you can clearly see the stem hitting it and clearing it but the box but the stem doesn't really do much in moving the click bar because I think there's just so much reduced travel, it just reduces the amount of noise in general. Alright, well, no more dilly dally shilly shelling. Let's put it in a keyboard and give it a sound test. Alright, welcome to the sort of overview look of the entire desk. Very familiar, right? Cheers, I've had some water. But before we get to the whole keyboard in test switch thing, I wanted to do a little experiment where I put a box mute jade top housing because again the top housing is what causes the muteness of the switch uh, and put it onto a box navy and vice versa I put a box navy top housing without the silicon dampener onto a box mute jade and one was more interesting than the other and specifically it's the box navy one so let's take a look at what happens when you put the box navy to the test Let's take a look at the box mute jade with the non dampened top housing. It actually clicks. So clearly, it's definitely the top housing. And you might be, th you might be thinking to yourself, well, it's, uh, the box navy was pretty low, dude. Let's see what happens when we switch it back. Standard box navy test. Yeah, you hear the difference? So. I think Mike actually missed the mark on this ever so slightly before I continue. Putting the box mute jade top housing on a box navy, and I bet even a box jade, actually has a lot more tactility. It's very interesting because I really don't find the box mute jades to be all that tactile. It genuinely kind of feels like a box royal that's been lubed or like broken into the point where it clicks. But when I put it on the box navy, the top housing with a silicon dampener, it still was, you know, ever so slightly more muted. And it, you can still audibly hear the click. And I guess that's kind of the point, because uh, you kind of don't, if you're in an office environment and you like, you enjoy your clickies, but you don't want to annoy anyone, I'm pretty sure this sound is a lot more favorable than this sound. But I feel like to those that want it, people were really expecting the whole, oh, we will just hear the click and nothing else and have like a sort of dampened feel, but still want the tactility of like the jades and such. I really feel like if we were to take those two worlds and merge them and do what I just did and put the top housing of the mute jades onto something with a much thicker click bar, like a thick click, which I guess that's what they're called. I feel like that would have been the best of both worlds. Maybe there could be like a specialty batch that could be created or something, but until then, I don't think we hit the mark completely, unless if this is what they were going for in the first place, which was a sort of as in the name, Mute Jade, but it doesn't really feel like jades, you know what I mean? Okay, so I do have some box jades to compare them to. More specifically, box Midnight Jades, which are just jade recolors. And I think they'll serve the purpose they're supposed to. So without any further ado, let me just... Hello, welcome back. So 
we're gonna put in the box mute jades first, and just to con just to sort of eliminate any sort of uh, oh you touch them and they're not stuck anymore. I'm gonna use fresh ones, all right, from the bag. So I'm gonna use four in the F, G, H, and J slots in my keyboard, and this is going to be with JTK red on white, so a double shot ABS set. God, that's tight. I'll first do them without keycaps, Jesus. And then I'll put them with keycaps and compare them to regular jades. And this should be a pretty clear contrast as to what's gonna be going on. All right, so here's without keycaps. And here's with keycaps. So again, they don't really feel like jades. If I were to press them very slowly, the feel is like a box tactile turned clicky, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people will understand what I'm talking about, because even really early reports do signify that this is actually something that does happen. And even Kiros Run 22 actually documented it in his box royal review all those years ago. But here, let's just make the obvious comparison. I'm going to switch back over to the actual clicky, which is the box jade, or the, specifically in this case, the midnight jades, which are usually found on the RFP edition, I do believe. Jesus. Kill switch is fat. These are never going on my keyboard again. Okay, we got the four fresh jades from the bag. Let's make a comparison. All right, here we go. Without keycaps. And with keycaps. It is literally no contest. Like, the pronounced tactility, I swear it is there when you use the muted jade tops on a box navy or jade. As a matter of fact, I'm going to test it right now. I'm going to take these midnight jades out, and I'm going to put the top housings on these and see if they're a good medium. Oh my god, I'm going to break my keyboard. This $400 keyboard. Oh, I'm so scared. <coughs> Okay, so as you can see, this top housing has the dampener on there, and I'm going to put it on this Midnight Jade here. And if this is not exactly what I think it is or how it will turn out, I'll eat my own words. And I'll, eat, and I'll also eat my shit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these are kind of these are much more muted than say a regular box jed. Let's put them on the keyboard. So I'm gonna put the hybrid mute jade right here. I'm gonna test it with a PBT keycap. Here's what it sounds like. And now I'm gonna put a standard jade in the same exact spot. And here's the difference between the two. So at the end of the day, what do I think about these mute jade switches? Now, where credit is credit is due, they did make a clicky silent uh, by including a little silicon dampener on the very top of the housing and bending that click bar down so it has reduced travel it indeed has reduced sound so this is an actual muted clicky now do i think the name mute jade is appropriate that's debatable because again when people think about 
jades. They think about the tactility and the big click, right? If I can move it up to the camera here. Okay, so now that it's focused, you can take a look at my finger. You can clearly see me like pressing against this thing. It's resisting. Like it's really, really snapping my fingers. But when I do the muted jades, it's not the similar experience. So if I were to just press it, it just kind of goes. It's not resisting as much or clicking against my finger as it should be. So it, when people probably think of mute jades, they're probably, and they get it, and they, be, and they go into it by expecting a massive tactility with the silence to boot, they probably think they got literally clickbaited. Like that's not even a YouTube term anymore. This is a keyboard term. You got clickbaited. And it kind of, I don't know, because on one hand, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, well, I mean, clearly hybridizing it is a decent way to go about it, where the click is still audible, but it's different than the standard jade. Case in point, let me click the two again. Regular jade and a hybrid jade. On one hand, I'm thinking like, hmm, well, maybe there could be some more engineering to be done where a click bar could be specially made or specially tweaked to make it so that there's the same tactility as the Jades, but still offer a decent silencing sound. But on the other hand, you kind of got what you did actually pay for, which is a silent clicky, because in the sort of in camera, in front of the camera, like, uh, breakdown, you clearly saw that this mechanism does create a clicky sound, but ever so slightly, and it's, well, muted. So I'm kind of torn on the switches, really, because in the end, yes, it is a silent clicky, but is it a jade that has been muted? No. So I'm not sure whether or not I should call these mute jades because of the fact that the tactility is so different. I'm pretty sure there's some technicalities about it though. Maybe the thick click bar actually is too loud or like they tried with different like levels of silencing and such and might've ruined the switch feel or something like that. I'd be gladly like listening to any sort of like inside information or whatever, because again, it clearly wasn't what I was expecting. But over the course of this small review and first impressions, I can appreciate it for what it is. So in the end, would I buy these? No. Personally, to me, I was leaning more of the side of whole, like, oh, I want the box jade tactility, but I want it silenced. And instead, I got something that's similar to a box royal or a hako royal, really. So do I really want to buy these? No. But I'm pretty sure someone out there actually does like them because I'm only one person. And don't forget, keyboards and mechanical keyboards and whatever are exceptionally subjective. You can have someone that loves Cherry MX Blues lubed and with like really thin PPT keycaps and be like, oh, so good. And, and then you have someone like me who likes say, Zilio V1 Redux, which I have right here actually. Or, and I also like Gateron 8008 inks on a 75% specifically tailored to my personal liking. So. I'm not bashing novel keys or anyone, so so please don't go out of your own way to go bash someone for liking these or whatever. Like, eh, clicky's bad, the worst in the market. By the way, I had a whole rant about that up here. Seriously, if you're going out of your way to bash someone because they like someone's switches, shut the fuck up and get the fuck out. I seriously can't stand people like that. But all things aside, going back on topic, do I want these switches to succeed? Yes. However, would I buy them? No. Because again, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I kind of got clickbaited because of the whole mute jade sound. And I know that Mike did disclaim in the summer update saying that it's similar, but not really. But I thought it'd be a little bit more similar than that. So without further ado, that's done. That's done. That's my review slash first impressions of this new Switch. Tell me what you think if you have some. And uh, I hope this was informative. Check out this, this, maybe that. I don't know, maybe that too. Uh, but yeah. Uh, have a good weekend.